Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about finding the right church for you. Now I know a lot of you reached out to us asking us about this and so here the video is finally. But just before we really get into the video, I need to address two very important things about the church. Number one, the church is not the building itself. It is us, Christian brothers and sisters, having kanonia together, fellowship together. That is what the true church of God is. And number two, you need to go to church. You need to have fellowship with brothers and sisters. Some say, well, no, it's fine. I'm fine on my own. I don't need to go to church. Well, that is not what scripture says. Hebrews 10 verse 24 says, And let us consider one another in order to provoke love and good works. Now listen to this, verse 25. Not neglecting to gather together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other and all the more as you see the day approaching. All right, so now that you know what the church is and that you need to go to church, how do you find the right church for you? Well, let's get into it. All right, guys, if it's your first time here, welcome to DLM Christian Lifestyle. My name is Daniel Moritz, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it so you won't miss any of our other videos. Now, there are basically four important things that you need to take into consideration before you join a church. Let's take a look at the first one. Pray. You have to start with prayer. You need to ask God because He knows best. You don't need to feel anxious or worried about finding the right church. What will the people be like? No. Just take it step by step with God. Don't be anxious. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Don't carry this on yourself. Give it to God because He knows everything. He knows the churches, the preachers, the people, and He knows you. He knows exactly where you are at in your spiritual growth with God and where He wants you to be. Join a church that puts God and His Word first, especially if you are a young Christian. This is crucial. It is extremely important. Isaiah 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of of knowledge. You know, it is actually so sad. I've seen a lot of young Christians believe and say certain things that are not found in Scripture. They are so easily misled by these false teachers because they do not know God's Word. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. You know, it is shocking when we look at the churches today. Many, many of them moved away from the Bible in the last few decades. It is sad because then you have these lukewarm churches that's not really a church at all. And I believe one of the biggest reasons for this is because in the universities today, we have professors that are liberal, that are not believers. And some believe a little bit, you know, they're a little bit religious, but they think that the Bible, well, it's just nice stories. All of it is not truth. It's not God's inspired, inerrant word. And then what they do is they teach what they think to young students. And then these students, when they graduate, they go into the churches and then they preach without the power of the Holy Spirit because they are cold, because they are lukewarm, and they preach death to the church. Matthew 7 verse 15 says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. And 2 Peter 2 verse 1 says, But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies even denying the master who bought them, bringing upon themselves swift 
destruction. These false teachers are good because they mix in truth and lies. They mix it all together and then they present it to people. And then, even if it's mostly truth, people accept it because they don't know the Word of God. You know, rat poison, 99% of it is good food and it's made to taste good. But it's the 1% that kills. And so it is with these false teachers as well. They bring spiritual death into the church. They bring in another gospel. It is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. And many young Christians fall for their lies. Galatians 1 verse 6 says, I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting Him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. You know, the best thing that you can do, no matter the church that you go to, is to read and study the Word of God for yourself. Get to know it, absorb it, take it in, into your heart, your soul, your mind, and live from it. Because then you'll be like the good Bereans. When you go to a church, or you listen to a pastor, or even a, a, a Christian brother or sister, and they say something, you just don't assume that it's true. No. You compare it with Scripture to see if it is true, just like the Bereans. Acts 17 verse 11, Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the Scriptures daily to see if these things were so. So find a church that truly puts God's Word first over just preaching what people want to hear. You know, preaching to itching ears. You don't want to be in a church like that because they don't then preach the whole truth of God in a balanced way. Or you have these pastors who overemphasize certain truths at the cost of others. You can't do that because then you have a skew idea of God's Word. You need to fully understand it, to fully understand who God is, who you are in Christ, your identity, to understand God's plan and how everything works together. You cannot preach only the good things that people want to hear, like grace, like love, all of these things. You cannot just preach that and not also preach it with God's righteousness, His holiness. You can't do that. You need to preach God's Word in a balanced way. If there are any preachers listening to this video, please listen to God, what He wants you to preach and not people. If you truly care about the souls of people, if you truly care about God, then true love for God, for your neighbors, is preaching the truth to them. Absorb or give? Do you just want to go to a church where you can just absorb good teaching and you get fat with all that teaching, you don't do anything with it? Or do you want to give back to the church? Philippians 2 verse 4 says, Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. I am surprised that a lot of Christians out there, they just want to go to certain churches just to sit down every Sunday. That's it. They don't go in the week. They don't join other things, other activities. They just go sit down for one hour in the church. They absorb everything. They get fed with the Word of God and then they just go home to their comfort zone. And they do this for years. But Galatians 6 verse 2 says, Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. If you go to church, you can't be selfish and just think about yourself. You need to think about other people, about your brothers and sisters, to help them, to support them, to encourage them, to edify them, but also to go to unbelievers and to share the gospel. Do you bring value to other people? Are you the light of Christ? Romans 15 verse 1 says, We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. You know, when I traveled for 13 years to different countries, two to three months, I would go to churches, not to preach, but to listen, to see what the churches are like in every country. But not just that, 
I also went to bring value to people and to do what God wanted me to do. Even when I was still young, not a young Christian, but young in my age. I mean, I'm still young. But Paul wrote to Timothy in 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Now again, I was young in age, but not young in my spiritual growth. So I don't recommend this if you are still a young Christian and you don't know God's word. But if you are spiritually mature, God might lead you to go to a church you might not like at first, but He wants you there to bring change, to help people stay on the right path. But you need to pray and ask God to lead you. Don't just stick with one church at the start. What people usually do is they go to the church that's closest to them and then they just stick to it. Don't do that. Go to a few different churches. You have Google, right? Just Google all the churches in your area and then go to them. Go to a different church every Sunday. Sometimes go a second time. But find out what the churches are like in your area. And then at some point in time, when you still pray, God will lead you to the church that you should go to. You will have peace in your heart about this specific church. Personally, I would suggest you go to a Baptist church as well because for me, most of the Baptist churches I went to with all those traveling over the years, they are still really good. They preach the Word of God and most of the preachers are on fire for Christ. They preach the truth, not just what people want to hear. Now, of course, they are all different, but it's a good place to start. Now, just a reminder, if you're new here on the channel, there's a lot of videos on here that will help you with your spiritual growth. So watch one of these and you might like it. And then always remember, God loves you and I love you too. Bye.